were still seven years. Very busy place. It featured a large hotel, stage office, railroad station, and even had its own newspaper. Among the Clouds was the first and only newspaper ever to be published on a mountaintop. All visitors to the peak had their names published in its pages along with the local news and gossip. In fact, the latest daily editions used to make their way down after hours on the Cog railway track on a contraption known as a slide board, or more popularly known as Devil's Shingle. Real history was made again in an unlikely little vehicle looking like a horse-drawn buggy without the horse became the first motor car to climb the mountain. As noted in Flora Stanley's account of the adventure, their journey received more laughter than laurels as motor vehicles were still a virtually unknown sight to the general public. The amazed responses of the folks in each village they passed through combined with the secure of what the new invention would be capable of as expressed in an 1897 letter to his wife after one of their horseless carriages nearly caused an accident in town. I wrote you some time ago about motor carriages. Well, I am building one. I'm making all the plans and it will weigh 350 pounds and it will be four inches wider and five inches longer than our best buggy was. It will cost me about $500. It will not be afraid of a steamroller and will have no bad habits. It will stand without hitching and perhaps that is all it will do. Well, as history had shown us, it did do more than hide your brakes. A pumping action of the foot pedal allows the brakes to run cooler than does a, just a steady pressure. And never use water to cool your brakes. If they begin to fade, stop at the next pullout and allow them to cool while you enjoy the view. If you're in the fog, please turn on your headlights and remember cars heading down should yield the right of way to the cars on their way up. You may have seen hikers while you're on the summit. Some are day hikers, climbing the mountains or traversing the presidential range by any of the miles of trails that crisscross the slopes. Many begin from the Appalachian Mountain Club's headquarters, just south of here in Pinkham Notch. Visible just above the AMC base camp is Tuckerman Ravine, famed for the challenging spring skiing. But skiing in this ravine is not for the faint of heart or casual skier. The headwall. first ever ascent of this formidable mountain. Whether it was riches, glory, adventure, or a combination of all three he sought, Darby and his guides achieved their quest and their place in history more than 300. After the wake-up call, the mountain rolled over and went back to sleep for about another 150 years. And it was the Crawford family, Abel and then Ethan after him, who finally began housing and then guiding yeah, guests yeah, yeah. around Mount Washington.
later became the principal <laughs> room of the <laughs> world above tree line is your world now and through your care its rarity will be preserved for the next time that you come or for all those who come after now that you've seen Venus, which exposed these scientists to conditions they couldn't have imagined the u.s signal corps took over from 1870 until 1892 and experienced many of the same conditions that the current members of the mount washington The dining area, the tip top house. Here is the bunk beds. Oh, <laughs> 